How's it going everybody? Matt D back with another video and this time I'm going to talk about my initial impressions of Windows 10. I just recently upgraded from Windows 7 on my Dell Studio 1555 that I got back in December of 2009. Windows 10 takes the best of Windows 7 and combines it with the Metro UI visual elements of Windows 8. The classic Windows start menu is back, but this time it's accompanied by a set of Windows Live tiles displaying useful information such as weather, news, recently uploaded photos, and social feed updates along with shortcuts to the new Microsoft Edge web browser and the Microsoft App Store new to PCs. On the Windows taskbar you'll find the new start menu, Cortana, Microsoft's answer to Siri and Google Now, Tasks view, which allows you to run multiple desktops, Documents, the Windows App Store, and Windows Media Player. At the far right of the taskbar you'll find Action Center, which displays notifications from your apps in addition to recent emails and Outlook. At the bottom of Action Center, you'll find a series of buttons for toggling various settings within your computer. Let's go back for a moment and talk about Cortana. Just like the virtual assistant on your smartphone, you can ask Cortana a variety of questions. Cortana can tell you about the weather in your location, as well as give facts about people, places, and other things. Cortana can also help you set reminders, alarms, and calendar appointments. She'll even display news stories and sports scores in addition to giving directions. Despite having a computer that is almost six years old, I was surprised to see that I can activate Cortana with my voice just by changing a toggle in Cortana's settings menu. Microsoft Edge is the new default web browser that comes with Windows 10. Edge offers a cleaner, less cluttered user interface bringing web content front and center. Edge comes with several new features. One of these new features is Reading View. Ideal for reading articles online, Reading View presents text in a simple, easy-to-read format similar to the readability feature built into Apple's Safari web browser. Another new feature available in Edge is the ability to create what Microsoft calls web notes. By clicking an icon in the browser's menu bar, you can annotate a web page and then save your work in the Microsoft OneNote app in Windows 10. Another new feature I like about Windows 10 is the Snap feature along with the option to create multiple desktops. Snap is a great addition to Windows that allows you to multitask by running apps side by side on the same screen in separate windows. With Snap, you can browse the web or type up a Word document in one window while keeping tabs on your email or your social feeds in the other. You don't have to worry about navigating through a cluttered desktop sorting through numerous windows piled on top of one another. The multiple desktops feature increases productivity and organization even further by allowing you to separate your running applications into independent workspaces. Let's take a quick look at the Windows App Store. Upon creating a Microsoft account with installing Windows 10, the new operating system gives you access to apps, games, and music, as well as movies and TV shows. You can even download popular Xbox branded titles to your PC. For those of you who have an Xbox gaming console with Windows 10, you can stream your Xbox games to your computer on the same Wi-Fi network. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to take advantage of that as I do not own an Xbox. Putting that aside, it's great to be able to finally have access to such an app store on PC. However, the Windows App Store is nowhere near as big as Apple's App Store or Google Play in terms of selection and quantity of apps available. So overall, those were the main features that I wanted to highlight in my initial impressions of Windows 10. So far, I'm liking this Windows upgrade in comparison to the old Windows 7 experience. The new operating system brings a lot of exciting, useful new features to Windows that certainly add a lot of value. On top of that, this upgrade was completely free. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. This is Matt D. Thanks for watching.